Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to, I want to say, another pre-release video. I can't even remember how many I've done, if I've done any. I know I've been slacking on them, I know that much. I feel like I've like recorded footage and not done anything with any of the pre-release stuff. Anyway, Scarlet and Violet pre-release uh, for me happened uh, this weekend on the 18th of whatever month it is, March. Uh, I've got another one on the 25th, so you expect two of these kind of videos back to back. Pretty exciting, I know. We're all, we're all ecstatic to see Liam recording original videos again, aren't we? guys anyway uh yeah we pulled this i mean it's not what was this talk about everyone's already done pre-release videos everyone's gone oh i've got this and that and blah 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 hey i'm here to tell you i also got this and that so we started with a holucha deck which i wasn't 100 sure i was happy with um what came with it was all right it was the poor Mott and pavilion cards which absolutely fine um I don't think I was overly ecstatic about it. I think almost everybody had Paul Mott or some variation of it. It was a bit ridiculous. Anyway, pulls. Weird decks aside, uh, we'll just go with the pulls first. Um, I got very lucky. So my very first pull was this bad boy, Squovert. Uh, very cute illustration rare. We love that, we love that. Next up, we pulled a gold basic energy, uh, fighting energy. It's very nice, very pretty, very shiny. Very happy to pull that. Uh, then my partner pulled Coridon EX Full Art, which uh, as collectors we're very happy to have, as players, uh, you know, <laughs> it's certainly a card. And finally, um, I'd put my deck together, I was like, ah, oh, I'm not sure about this, don't really like how it plays and stuff. Um, one thing I will say is I saw uh, a couple of kids uh, on the table across from us, uh, brilliant players by the way, they pulled three God of War EXs. They pulled enough to do a 3-3-3 three, three, three line of God of War EX. And I thought, well, that's our goose is cooked. Like, <laughs> we aren't going to be beating that. Until I pulled this bad boy. Uh, Toxicroak EX. Generally, not a great card. But uh, I thought, nice, pulling this, we're completely going to turn the tide on the God of War deck. Anyway, as fate would have it, God of War EX was my first deck to go against. Um, they got God of War EX out. By turn three, they were already swinging for the 190. I basically had no answer. Couldn't get Toxicroak out. I just died. And I was like, it's going to be one of those pre-releases where I don't win a single round. This is going to suck. Um, game two went my way. Can't really remember much of it. But game three was the big one. Um, I had in my deck, I think I would have showed it by now on, on, on the video. Uh, I had in my deck Indeedee, which uh, for one energy, let's just search for an evolution Pokemon. I had... Um, I kept Horlucha in, and I did a 1-1 one, one line of Toxicroak, luckily I pulled the basic as well. So, the God of War was a bit of a nightmare. I took down two basics, not a problem, it was pretty easy, but the God of War got built up pretty quickly. Two energy on it, and a, th a third one was imminent, it was going to go down. Um, they obviously put damage counters on themselves to get to 40 damage on. Somehow, I'm trying to remember the exact mass of this because it was ridiculous. They would got f uh, 40 damage on them already. The there's more damage went down, I think, via... Oh, 40 more damage went down via Holucha earlier in the game. Uh, did 10 damage to it. Um, then indeed he hit for 30, which uh, also put them to sleep. I was like, cool. Stall it out. Stall it out to him. Should be okay. They played down. They rolled tails to the sleep. Fantastic. Put an energy on. I was like, cool. We've got the game. They don't even know we've got the game. I placed another, uh, retreated in DD into Pormot, put another energy onto Pormot, swung for the 230 for the exact lethal. Horlucha made the difference in that game, and I was so ready to write it off in pre release. As soon as I saw it at the promo, I was like, this is awesome. In June, uh, <laughs> right now, this isn't very helpful to me, but no, it turned out it went okay, so that was good. That was good. Um, second game. Um, I always feel a bit bad in these pre-releases because they don't really separate, like, um, you know, I'll say for, you know, how they do with regionals, you know, masters, uh, seniors, juniors and stuff. So they ended up going against a kid who put together a deck, very proud of his poor mark. Uh, he kept referring to it as the legendary poor mark, which I find adorable. Very cute. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> picture the scene. It's POV. Uh, you're facing me, uh, an, an adult. Their mom was, like, sat there. <laughs> The dad was behind them, and then they were just going on about how great Pormot was, how great Pokemon Go is, and I was like, oh, I feel really bad because I'm going to have to destroy this child. And his mom was like, you know, kind of apologizing to me. I was like, no, nah, it's cool, it's cool. I I'm honestly like, <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she kept shuffling decks for me, making sure he was like following the rules and stuff like that. Um, 
and yeah, I, I tried to help them out a little bit as well. I was like, you know, try... They had Mesa down, and they weren't using it every time. Really, try, not trying to use it every time. And, uh, you know, I explained to her, the, the mom and the kid, I was like, you know, you should use it. Even if you don't want the basic Pokemon, it thins out your deck, you've got a better chance of drawing what you need, etc. And, you know, they, they thanked... Well, the mom thanked me for the advice. <laughs> the kid was less impressed. He was just annoyed that I killed his poor mock. So, it's one of those, like, you know... On one hand, I'm like, maybe I should be a bit nicer, a bit friendlier playing towards the kids. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to win. So, <laughs> no mercy for the children, damn it. Anyway, uh, game three. Oh my god. Um, so, so far, Toxicroak hadn't really factored in. Um, I didn't have Toxicroak for God of War EX. I used, God, uh, used Toxicroak at the end of game two. Um, didn't need it. I had Pormot ready as well. But I used it at the end of game two just to get the knockout. Um, wow, I got Toxicroak set up within two... Well, it was three turns, basically. I need three energy on it. So, uh, it was... Uh, Krogunk, energy. Energy. Find the evolution. With energy. Then start swinging. And I just swept this poor guy's deck. He was he did all right as well. Obviously, he was on the same win schedule as me. They were quite good for keeping up the wins. So it was like, you know, two win, two wins goes against two wins and blah, blah. But yeah, absolutely swept him. But absolutely lovely guy. Um, he was talking to me about possibly coming in on Tuesdays and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, please do. Uh, we had a bit of a chat about like what's the current meta looking like and stuff. And I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> Focus on rotation because the current meta sucks. Um, but yeah, we had a good chat and hopefully I'll, I'll see him again on Tuesday. Um, you know, still play quite a lot with Geek Retreat on Tuesdays, so hopefully I'll see some of these players here. And speaking of players I hope to see on Tuesdays, the final guy I took on, uh, it was his first pre-release, 3-0 uh, for him, 3-0 for me, we were the final game. Um, now, I'd heard rumours that somebody was playing Mimikyu EX. Uh, if you don't know the Scarlet and Violet set list, Mimikyu EX isn't in there, it's a promo. Um, they played down the Mimikyu EX, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say right now, I absolutely after the after the fact apologize for all this behavior i just wasn't happy that somebody had been allowed to use an outside card from pre-release mimic was in scarlet and violet wouldn't have had an issue with it but it was a promo card at the end of the day i couldn't have just brought in any cards i wanted it didn't seem fair so i said to the guy you shouldn't be using that card and he said oh so and so said i could the guy you know who run, runs the shop and i was like okay that's i guess that's a thing Anyway, a guy who runs the shop comes over, asks how the score's going, and I said, uh, is this okay? It's a promo card, blah, blah, blah. This shouldn't be used. It's basically cheating. And he goes, well, you, he goes, hmm, 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 yeah, hmm, you better win then. And I was like, yeah, I better do. And I, I just couldn't help myself. After a combination of, like, you know, a tiring week, I've been ill, etc. I can use all the excuses I like. There's, it was shitty behavior from me, I will admit. I kind of went a bit sulky and just, like, kind of, almost didn't want to play anymore because it completely knocked the wind out of my sails. I was like, it's just not fun to play against someone who has been able to pull in an outside card. It, it, it just doesn't seem fair. Anyway, they won round one with the Mimikyu. Um, and the guy who runs the shop comes back over and says, oh, how, who's winning? I said, no, Mimikyu's made the difference, blah, blah, blah. And he, to be fair, he said, um, listen, I didn't realize it was a promo card. I should have. Uh, what we'll do is reset the game. We'll take the Mimikyu out and go from there. Completely wipe the slate. And I was like, that, yep, that's fair. If you're happy to rule that, that's fine. And we replaced the card for the Mimikyu as well, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, he still beat me 2-0. It was his first pre-release. Um, I don't, I couldn't remember if he'd been playing much before that, but he did brilliantly. Like, I, I couldn't even argue with him. He, like, locked down my Toxicroak with Vivillian. It was ridiculous. Fair play, he beat me. Um... I cheered up after the ruling as well, and I said to the guy, you know, he said, oh, I'm thinking about coming on Tuesdays. And I said, please do not let my shitty behavior today affect your decision to do that, because honestly, it'd be great to have more people. I'm not usually like this. I'm just a bit annoyed. It took the wind out of my sails that someone was using an outside card. I can only apologize for how I am. I'm genuinely not usually like this. <laughs> you know, genuinely felt really bad. Um, and the guy looked very guilty too. He was like, oh, I can't... Uh, I feel like I've made a mistake. Dude, no, it's not you. It's not you I'm upset at. The guy running the shop shouldn't have let you run that card in the first place. So completely not on you. And I said to him, you know, I'm honestly proud to have played someone who still absolutely swept me with that game. So yeah, it was shitty behavior from me. I, I, can, I can own mistakes. I can own, you know, what's going on. 
But at the same time, the shop should also, you know, not let stuff like that happen. We've had conversations about like what's happening with like the next two Tuesday nights and as well and stuff like that. So it's all clear now. We're all good. Like, but yeah, I was I was not I wasn't my best behavior. Let's put it that way. And I think once you start realizing you're in a position where you can take the whole thing and win the whole thing, especially after the last pre-release where I did win all my matches and got first, it just got to me a lot more that like they were cheating, but they weren't. They didn't know they were cheating. If that makes sense. And I can forgive that. I'm glad it was fixed. I'm glad it was reset. And I'm glad I lost, you know, I lost 2-0 because they just played better than I did. Simple as that. And, you know, congratulated them. I said, listen, I hope to see you on Tuesday. I really hope you come on Tuesdays and stuff like that. And yeah, hopefully we see him again. If not, it's my fault and I'm a terrible person. But yeah, there we go. Um, end of the results. Yeah, I went 3-0-1. Um, came joint second with somebody else. Got two more booster packs. Uh, I pulled from... I pulled from them and I don't know where they are. Two seconds. Got my pulls and that was... Uh, this one's less exciting. The Hollow Professor's Research, but it's the good professor. And more excitingly, the Altar Illustrator Art. Whatever they're being called. The Donzo. Very nice looking card. I love it. It's very, very nice. Yeah, all in all, uh, it was a good pre-release. Um, I saw four God of War EXs. None of them came home with me. <laughs> I need two for my deck and that's it. Um... But yeah, we'll find them. We'll find them. I'm opening a lot of products. So uh, listen, we'll get it one way or another. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing another one of these videos for the next pre-release. Uh, that is going to be next week. So this video will probably come out, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, whenever I get it edited. Um, and then, yeah, there'll be another one following up. And then I'm going to do a video about the internationals too, because I have got my entrance to the internationals. We've booked a hotel. We're driving down from the Midlands to London. So that's going to be fun. I haven't done that in a while. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've got a couple more videos coming up and at some point a tier list or two for Scarlet and Violet. I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm doing it because there's all arts, there's full arts, there's no Galarian gallery, but there's kind of a gallery. It's it's all over the shop. We'll figure it out. There'll be videos. There'll be actual original content on the channel, which is not something I've been doing keeping up with for a while. But anyway, we're still doing PTCG L streams on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chestertainment. All of those go up as individual episodes on the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash chestertainment. And uh, hey, all the other links and stuff like that are in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, give me a sub, all that good stuff. And hey, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.